Hi folks, today on the Garden Fix we're going to count down my top five perennials of 2023. Okay, let's get the show underway. So we're starting out with number five on the list. And number five on the list is a new plant in our garden. And uh, this was the first year we had it. And it is an autumn gold willow leaf sunflower. It's in the helianthus family and this plant is a very compact growing plant and it looks like a wonderful shrub for most of the year uh, it has uh, a dark green foliage and um, because it's so compact i mean it, it really does look like a shrub uh, as the year goes on though it starts to develop these buds and basically at the end of summer early fall it just explodes i mean it explodes with flowers the flowers are beautiful and bold and basically carpet the whole plant and the center is brown so it, it really is just quite amazing when it happens it's very showy it grows about two to three feet tall and wide and this plant is hardy in zones five through ten this plant really likes full sun and like most plants you need to put it in a place that's well drained and it really was wonderful this year. I'm very excited about it and we'll see how it looks next year. So coming in at number four on our list is tall flocks or garden flocks. And our flocks this year was just incredible. Um, what a show it put on. Tall garden flocks can get to be about three feet high and uh, we're going to actually end up dividing it this year and putting it in different places. Uh, this is particular plant is hardy in zones three through eight, so pretty much anybody could grow this. Um, it is amazing when it, for attracting pollinators, butterflies, hummingbirds, and the flowers grow in these beautiful clusters. Now you can deadhead them too. Uh, it does flower for, for, for a few weeks. And then if you cut it back, it will extend the bloom time a little bit. Uh, it won't be quite as showy, but it will still get some blooms. And we had two really nice bloom cycles on this because of deadheading. So there's number four. Okay, coming in at number three on the list is this beauty. <laughs> this is uh, Jethro Tull. Coreopsis or tick seed and this had to be one of the most impressive bloomers and longest lasting bloomers we had this year this plant loves part sun to full sun and it has this really cool fluted petals so if you know the band Jethro Tull you understand why it's named that way from its fluted petals uh, it has a bold bold yellow color and it bloomed for us from basically mid spring to mid fall all I did was deadhead it and it just kept blooming and blooming and it really n just never let us down this year. Um, I've already separated it one time so it's a great plant that you can separate and Jethro Tull Coreopsis is hardy in zones 5 through 10. Alright guys I'm standing in this walkway and that's because in this walkway hiding is our number two perennial of the year and that is peony tulips. Peony tulips are also known as double late tulips or sometimes double hybrid tulips. Peony tulips resemble peony flowers because of all the layers of ruffled petals they have. Um, the only problem with these guys is these bulbs sometimes don't return as strong every year and it's going to be interesting how these look this year when they come up. So they really thrive on perfect conditions and uh, this area right here is not the best when it comes to draining. It's okay. It's going to be a kind of an interesting test um, to see if the conditions are really good for them to come back and thrive. Now we do have some in our uh, raised bed that I'm hopeful will come back even stronger, but they were amazing and this is a video on our best perennials of 2023 so we'll see if they will be just as awesome in 2024. Okay we finally reached number one and here we are uh, number one on the list for 2023 and that plant 
was our cappuccino rubecchia herta or black-eyed susan and this plant just produced enormous amounts of flowers from summer to late fall all i did was deadhead it every once in a while and it just kept on coming back and this plant is hardy from zones two to eight now the only problem with this plant is it's really considered to be a biennial and we've had this plant for two amazing years. I'm hopeful that it will reseed itself here and grow back, but if not, we're definitely going to try to keep it in our garden somehow. The flowers on this are immense. They are, they can get to be about four to five inches straight across. At the tips it has a bold yellow, and as you move in towards the center of the plant it becomes reddish and brown, and it's just incredible when it's in full bloom. I can't say enough about this amazing plant. Okay, everybody, there you go. That's my top five perennials of 2023. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Uh, check us out on Instagram as well. And uh, for everybody out there who follows us, thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I'll see you in 2024.